you. For nearly 30 years, thousands of volunteers have poured into Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath and say a hero's name aloud. It makes you feel like you're giving back and doing something important for those who did everything they could for us. Last year, they honored nearly a quarter million of our fallen. This is a small way of me saying thank you and I'm grateful. Thank you. So when Arlington announced Monday that it was canceling wreaths across America because of the risk of spreading COVID, lots of people were outraged. Wreaths across America said it was shocked, unexpected, and devastated. Thousands of others called it disgraceful. Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy was listening. We're happy to say that the mission will go on. Wreaths Across America organizers say the Army Secretary late Tuesday afternoon ordered Arlington to safely host the event after all. But that means far fewer people. You're not sure that this year thousands of volunteers will be able to show, come? Actually, I can say that I am sure they will not be. But for Kevin Haley, a Portland, Maine police officer whose brother is buried here and who has led thousands of people in convoys to Arlington since 2003, just having the event at all means a lot. Every year we, we, we cover his stone to see all the stones, um, figure everything out of what it stands for. Freedom isn't free. From the north woods of Maine, to millions of markers at Arlington and across the nation. On December 19th, they will say their names and remember. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.